Hi, I'm Dara from WebsitesToSimple.com. In this video, you are going to learn how to set up Google Analytics and install it on a website in just three easy steps. Google Analytics is a powerful free tool that tracks your website and marketing performance so that you can improve it. By the end of this video, you will have Google Analytics set up and you will be able to see things like how many people are visiting your website, if visitors are coming from Google, Facebook, or other websites, and which pages of your website are getting the most views. So let's get started. Step one is to create a Google Analytics account. To create a Google Analytics account, go to google.com forward slash analytics and click on start for free. Then log in with the Google account. You can use the same Google account that you use to access other Google products like Gmail, Google Calendar, or YouTube. And if you don't have a Google account, click on Create Account and set one up for free. Once you log in, click Set Up for Free, then add an account name and leave the recommended options ticked. Then choose whether you want to measure a website or an app or both. Enter your website name and URL. Select an industry category. Choose your time zone so the reports are synced with your local time and click Create. Agree to the terms for your country or region. And that's how simple it is to create a Google Analytics account. Step two is to install the tracking code. In order to collect data and see reports in Google Analytics, you will need to install the tracking code on your website. And there are a few different ways to do this depending on the type of website that you have. So I'll go through the main ways, including how to install the tracking code on a WordPress website step by step. The tracking code should appear automatically after you create a Google Analytics account. But if it doesn't, just click on Admin tab in the bottom left corner and click on Tracking Info and then Tracking Code. And you'll be brought to the page with the tracking code to install on your website. If you are using a Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, Shopify, or other website builder, then you can simply copy this tracking ID and paste it into the admin section of your website. For example, to add the tracking ID to a Wix website, just click on Marketing Connections and then connect to Google Analytics and paste in the tracking ID. The process will be very similar for other website builders, so if you run into any trouble, just check the support guides. If you coded your own website, simply copy this code and paste it right after the opening head tag on every page of your website. If you are using WordPress, log into your WordPress dashboard and click to add a new plugin. Search for the Monster Insights plugin and then click Install and Activate. Then launch the Setup Wizard and follow the steps. Click the category that best describes your website and connect Monster Insights. Then log in with the Google account you use to create your Google Analytics account. Leave the recommended settings as they are and click Save and Continue. Finally, click to finish the setup and exit the wizard. It's that easy. Note that Monster Insights does have a pro version with some more features, but the free plan is more than enough to get your basic Google Analytics setup. That wraps up the various methods to install the Google Analytics tracking code. So go ahead and use the method best suited to the type of website that you have. Step three is to confirm Google Analytics is working. To test that Google Analytics is working, open an incognito window 
from your browser and type in your website domain. Then refresh the page in Google Analytics. Now you should see that there is one active user on your website. This shows that Google Analytics is set up correctly because we can see the visit that you have open in the incognito window. After 24 hours, your reports will begin to populate. And if you click on Google Analytics Home, you'll be able to see things like how many people have visited your website, if visitors are coming from Google, Facebook, or other sites, which country your users are from, what devices they are using, and which pages of your website are the most popular. All of this information will help you make better decisions to grow your business. And if you want to dive in deeper, click on the detailed reports in the sidebar. That's how easy it is to set up Google Analytics and install it on a website. Click here if you'd like to get a recap of the three steps, subscribe for more tutorials, share this video with friends, and comment below for what video I should do next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.